The explosive allegations of sexual harassment against celebrity chef John Besh and his restaurant group are now making national headlines. The world famous chef today stepped down as the head of his own restaurant empire, which includes some of the most well known restaurants here in New Orleans. Tonight, many within the service industry are calling for a more open environment. Carice Jackman joins us live in the French Quarter with more. Good evening, Carice. Good evening, Ton, and that's right. Many chefs across the area feel alarmed and surprised by these allegations, but they also say this is a wake-up call for anyone who feels sexually assaulted or harassed in the workplace to speak up. World-renowned chef John Besh has stepped down from his own company after a NOLA.com report cited 25 employees claimed they were victims of sexual harassment while working at several of his restaurants. The allegations launched against workers within the Besh group. Some launched against Besh himself. Since stepping down, several organizations, including WYES and Harris Casino, have severed ties with Besh. In a letter to employees, new Chief Executive Officer Shannon White wrote that plans are in place moving forward to protect workers, including bringing in an independent investigation. Susan Spicer is chef and owner of Bayona, Mondo, and Rosedale restaurants. During her 38 years in the restaurant industry, she's carved out her place in a male-dominated environment. Sincerely, I've always felt like I was one of the lucky ones. I had, I worked for three uh, French male chefs who were all very, very supportive. While she says she's never personally experienced any form of harassment and did not want to comment specifically on the allegations against Besh, Spicer says she makes sure her employees can voice their concerns. We don't have one big HR department. Uh, but we do have an HR consultant. Any kind of problems, we have a, a pretty open door policy. This afternoon, Eyewitness News spoke with a woman who claimed she was sexually harassed when she worked in the service industry. She says it usually started with verbal advances, sometimes from her boss. I'm so beautiful, and he's starting to find it difficult to work with me, even though it's my first day, because he's worried he's going to have all these feelings for me. I was stunned. I had no idea how to respond to that. For people in the field and those preparing to enter the industry, Spicer says employees should never be afraid to speak up. If there is a problem, it's important to be able to express it um, and to find someone that you trust. And in a statement, John Besh said that he regretted his actions and also said that he did not turn a blind eye to any allegations of sexual harassment. He also admitted that he did have a relationship with someone, but said that that relationship was consensual, Tan. And Karee, some of these allegations go back years. Did the employees within the group have anywhere to turn to for help? Well, Ton, in that Times Picayune an article, we also saw that in that investigation, he did say the department said that they created an HR department on October 11th of this year, but that's after a decade after this group started, and have they also have more than 12,000 employees, Ton. All right, Chris, thank you.